Hey guys, nice to see you. I am so excited today is Finnish Independence Day, December 6th. 102 years ago, Finland became independent from Russia. But never mind Russia, we still like you and you're still our neighbor country and you're still much bigger and stronger than we are. Happy Independence Day! Sorry, I have to get rid of that, that's too loud. Oops. Ooh. It's Finnish Independence Day. It's a nice spa and I decorated my home accordingly, as you can see. And now I'm waiting for my guests, because today I am going to show my American friends how to celebrate Independence Day in Finland, only that we're celebrating here in the US. We're basically going to reenact Finnish Independence Day in the US. Actually, this is going to be a very special double feature Independence Day episode of Katie's Crazy Diary. That's me. <laughs> Since I'm living in LA, the crowd of you guys who is watching became a bit more mixed. You guys from Europe are watching and you guys from the US are watching too. And that's why I'm doing this special double feature Independence Day episode. Because I want to show you guys from Europe how Independence Day is celebrated in the US. And I want to show you guys from the US and from everywhere else in the world how Independence Day is celebrated in Finland. Are you ready? Okay, let's time travel to the past. July 4th, 2019. Hey guys, nice to see you again. Look. Today is July 4th, Independence Day. My first Independence Day in the US. And I'm gonna celebrate it. But it's pretty late already, it's 7 p.m. And I'm heading out to meet one of my neighbors for a really cool party. And you know what? Uh, Actually, today I also experienced my very first earthquake in the US. My very first earthquake in my whole life. My god, it sounds like my first earthquake. It sounds special, but... Uh, yeah, it was kind of scary. The bed started shaking and it lasted for, I feel, a few minutes. But I was asleep, so I don't know exactly. When the earthquake happened, I was fast asleep. Even so, it was uh, 10.33 in the morning. Uh, but the night before I had been at the birthday party of one of my friends and I go to parties so very rarely and it was so beautiful and I stayed till the end <laughs> and I went to sleep at 5 a.m. and then of course at 10 33 in the morning I was fast asleep and suddenly my bed started shaking it was almost as if someone took the whole room and started shaking it from side to side yeah it was pretty scary but nothing bad really happened nobody got injured luckily as far as I know, here in LA, we just experienced uh, shaking. I still feel kind of shaken, but pun not intended. At first I thought it was just a nightmare and I went back to sleep. And then a few hours later, when I got up, I opened my social media and I had like 300 messages from my friends and family members, you know, my 27 cousins. And they were all asking, oh my God, there was an earthquake in LA. Are you okay? Because the media hadn't really covered it properly, I guess, because they just said apparently there was an earthquake but they didn't really say how bad the damage was and here in LA it was actually only 6.4 what is kind of strong but it didn't really do damage nobody here in the LA area got injured luckily we all just experienced a noticeable shaking the epicenter was in Ridgecrest which is 150 miles from LA and we're all hoping and praying that the people in Ridgecrest are okay what I've heard from the news so far, nobody gets seriously injured. They said we might experience some aftershocks, uh, what would basically mean just a, a bit more of shaking. But they also said there's like a, I think, 5% chance that this was just a foreshock of a bigger earthquake. And now we're all just hoping and praying that everything will be okay. And I decided nevertheless to go out tonight because I have to celebrate that nobody got injured and I have to celebrate my first Independence Day in the US and I tried to make myself look fancy for you look this year of course quality from the 99 cent store and I did my nails for you I didn't have white I wanted to have them red blue and white but I didn't have white so I hope the gold will do and now I'm about to head out to an Independence Day party in Highland Park. My neighbor is already there and he said we're gonna have a beautiful view of the fireworks there. Yeah, join me guys! Oh, and I have to show you my new shoes. Oh, fuck. Ouch. 
Let's see if we can do it from here. Oh, wait, I think I have to bow you more down. Oh yeah, now you see the stuff. <laughs> yeah, that, that stuff there, that's all from the earthquake. Just ignore it. <laughs> oh, sorry, shouldn't be joking about that. My new shoes, yay. I just bought them for a comedy gig and now I'm trying to master walking in them. And actually I was just cheating. I'm not going to wear those today because I cannot really walk in them yet. And I don't know if there will be aftershocks. It's way too dangerous tonight. And now guys, let's go to the party. I'm on the way to the party right now. And I want to show you how free the freeway is. I've never seen the freeway like this in LA since I live here. I guess that's because of the holiday and maybe because of the earthquake. Actually, he's not new, but we met recently. He invited me here, even so it's not his parties, but he has good connections. And guys, I can show you my outfit, maybe. Maybe I should pull in my bellies. <laughs> That's my Independence Day outfit, guys. I didn't dare to wear boots or high heels, even so it would have looked good, but these are my earthquake-proof shoes. It's a comedy vlog, you can say something funny, but now we don't have good light. Maybe we have to go closer to the light. Oh, might be. Oh, if we're closer to the TV, maybe. Really? Oh, great. I'm making yes. great connections here, but thank you so much. Look, guys. Hi. This is Grady. I just met him here, and he's going to tell you something really American about Independence Day now. Oh, thank yeah. you. And there's this really cute girl behind the camp. She's called Jamie, oh, nice. and she's giving that's us some light. light. Yes. Uh, I'm from Texas, and that's as American as it gets. Oh, yeah, so you don't, you don't call the cops, right? You, you use guns in Texas, right? Oh, God, no. <laughs> no, I don't call cops on nobody. I mean, unless you're on my property. But even then, I'll shoot first and ask questions later. Oh yeah, welcome to Texas, guys. Right. And did you know that I live in Hollywood, guys, and the police never comes when you call them? Uh, and since that, I have a bit more understanding for why people want to have guns for their protection. Yeah. Yeah, now yeah. YouTube is going to demonetize This country us. was built on having a gun for self-protection. <laughs> It's like it's like swords in Europe back in uh, back in the medieval times. Or them lightsabers in Star Wars. Yeah, lightsabers <laughs> in Star Wars. Oh, can I get a lightsaber? I want a lightsaber to protect myself. Sure. We got lightsabers in Texas. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, Grady's gonna get me a lightsaber, guys. Sure. How much do I have to give you for that? Uh, well, you have to find a di. Thinium crystal. Oh. You gotta find a crystal. You gotta make it. Okay. Okay, can you help me with that? Yeah, can you get to the planet where the ancient Jedi temple is? That's where the crystals are. You gotta go there, you gotta get a crystal. You know, I think Elon Musk is working on that right now, so I nice. guess I can get there. He would. <laughs> it's on Mars. Oh yeah, it's I always really want to go to Mars. Yeah. It's just on Mars. <laughs> Nothing is more patriotic than this Mars. film. Yeah. Independence Day. This is the most patriotic <laughs> film there is. Because about people showing up on our doorstep saying they're going to take our country, we're like, no, sir, you ain't. Yeah, the Texas style way, right? That's right. Texas style. I mean, American. <laughs> it's American style. That's how we've always done it. Great. Thank you so much, Grady. And happy Independence Day. Happy Independence Day. <laughs> Safety first. Oh Safety first.
Oh, yeah. oh, now it looks beautiful. Oh, yes. Over there. Guys, no light pollution from the moon. Uh, uh, yeah, yours. Yes? Oh, my yes? God. I heard a fire, but I didn't see it explode. Ah! Boom. Thank you. That American machine. It's, it's <laughs> I'm too tired for that, I guess. But I learned it, and I just learned it from this really cute girl who doesn't want to be on camera. What? Oh no, you get ice? Yes. And I would like water. I'm just filming your hands. Is that okay? Yeah. I'm just learning how to handle this machine. <laughs> okay, and then water. Yes. Oh, that's how you do it. I didn't want to mess it up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess it's true. Maybe the yeah, eye. You're right. I saw the whole thing. Oh my god. Our neighborhood has been going off as fast as we can. December 6th, 2019. Since my guests haven't arrived yet, I can tell you a bit about Finnish Independence Day. First thing is, you might have noticed that the Finnish flag is white and blue. And that's why we like to put a white and a blue candle in the window on Independence Day. I prepared that already.
I am also wearing a special outfit for Independence Day. Look, I will go back, look, on my knees! I'm, I'm on my knees for you guys! I just want to give you the perfect framing. But I still also feel very humbled <laughs> you know, by all of you guys watching. <laughs> I'm on my knees for you guys! Look! I am wearing a very special outfit. I bought it yesterday at a second-hand store. This is not only white and blue, like the Finnish flag, it is Finnish design. It was made by one of the most famous Finnish design brands, which is Marimekko. Maybe I can show you the label. Let's see if we can do that. Oops. Can you see it? Oh, wait. I don't know. Now I'm bending backwards for you guys. Look, I am on my knees and I am bending backwards for you guys. That's how far I go for you on Independence Day. <laughs> Look. Can you see it? Oh, oh no, I heard a knock on the door. I guess my guests are coming. See, guys, now my guests are finally here. And everyone bailed on us, on me, because it's raining in LA and then people are scared to go outside. But we have here Juliana, you know her already. Hello. Hello. Hi guys, I'm back for another video. This is Eric, you also know Eric already from the crazy Midsummer party video. You remember? We did I was stuff the, with I was the, to the Toga dude. That was me. <laughs> that was the Toga dude. <laughs> Yeah, now I have the Halloween girl and the toga dude, so it's gonna be fun. We're gonna celebrate Finnish Independence Day now, because it means there's much more fun for us, many more Finnish flags for us, much more Finnish food for us. I want the other people to cry when they see the video. They will. Yeah, they will. They're gonna yes. be super sad. Yes, yes. very sad. <laughs> you both are American and you have never celebrated Independence Day in Finland. No. Like what we were saying a few minutes ago, I didn't even know that Finland was ever not independent. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, I can teach you so much about Finland. No. <laughs> That's a joke internationally that nobody knows anything about Finland. An American and a French guy and a German guy and a Finn are on a safari somewhere in, in the jungle and then they see a very rare animal, like a mix of an elephant and a giraffe. And the American goes and says, oh, what's that? Is it an elephant or a giraffe? And then the French guy goes, what's that? Is it a giraffe or an elephant? And the German guy says, wow, wow, I've never seen that. What's that? And the Finnish guy goes, says, oh, I think he won't know Finland. Something like that. Probably it got lost in translation, but something like that. What would you like to know about Finland? I'm glad to teach. When did they become independent? Uh, 102 years ago. Oh! It's 100 second anniversary today. Oh, from, from like Russia, the, the country of Russia, owned by, at the time, like the Tsar, Tsars and stuff, right? Yes, it oh. was part of Russia and before that it was part of Sweden. Yes. 1917, okay. Oh, were they part of World War I? Uh, yeah, and actually Finland has a very interesting history. The Finnish history has three wars. Mm -hmm. They were not part of World War I, but they were part of World War II, but they see it as three wars. The mm -hmm. Winter War, the Continuation War, and the Lapland War. Sorry, I almost messed it up. The Lapland War. Okay. Winter War, Continuation War and Lapland War. Mm -hmm. But that's all like phases of World War II. And mm -hmm. first they were, the Finns were first fighting on sites of the Nazis, of the Germans. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, oh. you didn't do that well. But then they came to their no. senses and saw how horrible the Nazis were. And then they uh, went to fight on Russian side. Mm -hmm. And then the Germans, because they were angry they had to leave the country, they burned down uh, in Lapland all the wooden houses. Lapland is the very oh, northern wow. area of Finland and there were beautiful wooden houses and mm -hmm. the angry German Nazi soldiers, when they were kicked out of the country, on their way out mm -hmm. they burned down everything and stole everything they could. Mm. Sore losers. <laughs> yes, yeah. and so they all Bummer. called Germans. I mean, guys, you know, I was born in Germany and then I moved to Finland. The Finns called the Germans the Lapland burners. Oh, and that's really? a joke. It's like a joke, like a nice nickname. <laughs> okay, okay. Lapin Poltaya. Yeah, Lapin Poltaya. I am a Lapin Poltaya in Finland, apparently. Ah. <laughs> cool. I have a whole comedy routine about that. Sorry, I'm a bad teacher. I'm letting you know. <laughs> But maybe I can teach you something about the Finnish language if we want to talk about what it is and what this means and how we pronounce it and stuff like that. Oh yeah, well, we'll I'm sure we'll get there in a second. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so bad. No, I'm letting you down, guys. No. Did Finland, did they ever have kings? No. What cut, what system of government were they? A democracy. Really? They mean they were when they were under Russian reign. They had this uh, monarchy system. system okay. Of yeah. course, Alexander II. Mm -hmm. But they liked Alexander II because he had a Finland-friendly politic, and he has even a big statue on the 
in the middle of the city at the mm -hmm. Senate Square, Senate okay. That's also where people go on Independence Day. In Finland, when we have Independence no Day, we start the day by putting a blue and a white candle in the window. Mm. I have one, you can just see it because the blinds are closed. So, and then at some point they have a torchlight procession, they wear torches and go through the whole city. Mm -hmm. And then they all gather at the Senate Square, Senate in Tori, in front of the beautiful white church that is called Tuomio Kirko or internationally Helsinki Cathedral. And then there's the stairs of the cathedral. There's, it has very high stairs and there are the people are standing then, the, the officials and the choirs and they sing and the audience is in the square. Mm -hmm. And singing also, and singing songs, singing the Finnish national anthem, and there are speeches about like how great Finland is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it good. Starts with a statue of Alexander the Second. Yes, and the statue okay. of Alexander the oh. Second is in the Senate Square. Like we're basically around the statue when we're singing the the national anthem. Do you think his uh, Do you think his like nice disposition towards Finland caused Finland to want to start to break away? Because you know when. There's that old adage that don't don't keep don't take your uh, foot off the neck of the colony or else they'll know what freedom is and want to want to uh, like revolt. Yeah, I'm not so sure how uh, how popular uh, Alexander II was in Russia. <laughs> okay, okay, sure. <laughs> but they but he, he had like a loose affinity for the Finns. Yes. And so that's why they still love him today because yes. he was good to them under even though it was under the reign of the Tsars. Yes, exactly. Okay. And that's why he got the statue. And there's always a, a seagull on top of the statue. Whenever you take a picture, there's a seagull. Oh, they'll way. just by always, by chance always yes. happen to be a seagull. Yes. <laughs> it's a conspiracy. Those dang seagulls. Yeah, apparently all the seagulls <laughs> love. Seagulls. Maybe the seagulls love Alexander II too. They might. Oh, they are spies from the Russians. The Russian spies. <laughs> Could be. Not them. too far. I was gonna idea. say yeah. that's probably not that far fetched. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And I, I, but I don't want to anger Russia because it's still our neighbor country and it's much bigger. Oh yeah, and they're much more powerful. they're all about that, you know, vengeance stuff yeah. right now. <laughs> and we love Putin. Trust us. <laughs> we love Russia. Happy <laughs> Independence Day. <laughs> <laughs> we also have this other celebration. One is the big one for everyone at the Senate Square, where everybody can go. And then we have one that's called Lina Juhla. That's like the. Uh, the castle celebration, ah. the big castle celebration, and it's the castle of the Finnish president. And people who have uh, done something for Finland or who have had uh, special accomplishments are invited. Mm. Like athletes, musicians, actors, politicians, of course, but all people who had uh, big accomplishments. Also, Finnish bands who were internationally successful. And they go there, they have like a red carpet, and it's a big TV event also. Mostly, you first go to Senatin Tori and sing and enjoy that, and then you go home and watch the. Uh, the TV recording, like the recording of the Lina Juhla on TV. That's what you do on Independence Day. Wow. And the band Lordi was once invited to the Lina Juhla. You know the monster guys, Lordi? Lordi? Lordi, they are like dressed like monsters on stage. They are really cool and they won. I am maybe you don't know them because they won the European Song Contest. We have this thing, it's called Eurovision Song Contest. It's really big and every European country is part of that, but of course here in the US and Canada nobody knows it. Mm -hmm. But they won and then it was their big accomplishment and they always wear monster masks on stage. And then there were some tabloids making a fuss about it that they cannot go to Lina and Yuhla when they wear these uh, monster masks. But they were wearing suits and everything. They looked good and like for celebration and dress code everything, but they want to wear their masks. Oh, they're like Slipknot. They're like the Slipknot. Yes, exactly. <laughs> like, yes, they you are. Wear Slipknot, right? They wear masks yeah. too. Yeah, that's very similar. Oh, yeah. Okay, they're and Lottie is a bit more funny, maybe, but Slipknot is also very genius. So okay, yes, that's exactly. Cool. That's very similar. Oh, that's, oh, okay. I, I like them already now. <laughs> I have to show you a video. Oh yeah, we wanted to listen to Finnish music also, so we we can also listen to Lordi. But today I thought we more listen to artists who perform in Finnish, and Lordi performs in English. But they are amazing. And of course we had cell phones in the past. Nokia cell phones were what, one really? of the biggest. Nokia, Nokia is from Finland, oh, wow. and it's named after Finnish city. Those Nokia phones, boy. I mean, they didn't break. I, mean, I know. I, I had know. one. You could it would literally bounce when I threw it on the ground. That's just, awesome. I know. And you know why that, that is? It. Nokia started out with making gum boots, these like rain boots. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's why the phones are bouncing. Oh, because really? I don't <laughs> they know just <laughs> took the idea of the, the durable rubber rubber shoe and just... Hey, let's make a <laughs> phone! <laughs> put, a, put a phone in it? It makes complete sense. So. And they have large forests, but they also... Uh, is it called reforested? Like, they regrow the oh, trees. Really? They take care that the forest oh, won't disappear. that's really cool. Yeah. They're very responsible. So they, they do are. the right thing. Exactly, and they love nature. In the Finnish national anthem that we will play later, probably, there's a lot of, uh, like, no valley is... Uh, 
more dear to us and no mountain is more dear to us. They're thinking about how beautiful and how dear the nature in Finland is. So mm -hmm. they, they love their nature and they take good care of it. That's very nice. I know, I know. <laughs> to regrow that's, the trees. That's how the Finns are. <laughs> wow. Oh yeah, you do that in America and that's uh, that's too much money to do that. So yeah, you can't to do no. the right thing. No, no, yeah. just, yeah, well, just let's put just you know put down more trees. Just make <laughs> yeah, up for it. Yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> like we, for the best. <laughs> just like take, let's take all the trees away, and then everybody has no trees and nobody complains. Oh, oh yeah, mm. and then and then well, Finland will really be on top. <laughs> right, yeah, right. Those exports right. will be booming. <laughs> oh, people go as tourists to Finland just to see trees. Uh, it's gonna be like uh, Blade Runner, the new Blade Runner. Yes. That, remember they found that piece of wood in it? Oh, spoiler <laughs> alert, they found a real piece of wood. That was like a big deal. Yeah, that's how the <laughs> that's... Americans gonna react when they go to Finland. To see <laughs> what? <laughs> what? We gotta invade them too. You know, I gotta. Oh, yeah, we gotta no. get their wood. Oh <laughs> well, no, and then Finland has to fight for the independence all over again. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's uh. It's I gonna... will go out and plant trees this weekend here in the US. <laughs> just so that this will not happen. Oh, they're, they're currently part of the EU? They are. Oh, nice. Yes, Finland is part of the EU. It's the most modern country that is part of the European Union. Mm. And we have the Euro in Finland. Oh, wow. Yes. Wow, they adapted the currency. Yes. Oh, cool. And the others didn't. Like Denmark, Sweden, Norway don't. And if you travel through the countries, you need still to have like Danish crowns and Swedish mm. crowns and Norwegian crowns. But in Finland, you can use the Euro, mm. Euro money again. Mm. What do the people think about the EU? Do they, do they like it or do they hate it? Because there's been a sentiment lately in Europe about like anti-EU, yes. like Brexit and everything. Do do the Finns like it or hate it? Or? It's a split opinions, and some politicians even said Finland has to leave the EU because they pay so much because Finland is a rich country, and they pay for like the yeah. southern countries like Spain and Greece. But uh, I think most people like the EU and want to stay in it. Mm -hmm. And I would also love if Finland stays in the EU because mm -hmm. I travel a lot and I yeah. I it's would love if it stays. It's really convenient too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's one passport for everything. And also we have Russia as a neighbor country and so it's nice to have the EU, you know, as a big brother oh, to yeah. help. Oh yeah, because you know. the Russians don't... Yeah. The, hey, hey, Putin. <laughs> I, I, we love Russia. It's okay. <laughs> I love beef stroganoff, I swear. <laughs> oh yes, yeah. Oh good, good that you said that. Now everything's good, right? <laughs> yeah. Please leave my bank accounts alone. And please don't invade my favorite country. Or Facebook accounts. Oh yeah, right, and Instagram. <laughs> that would be very nice of you. But I think Facebook and Instagram is now hosted in China. That's probably more scary, even. <laughs> than Russia. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh god, just stop sending memes to my grandfather, okay? He doesn't. He doesn't get them. Yeah, he's. He not believes good. them. <laughs> oh yeah, please, yeah. <laughs> How do you pronounce that uh, first word? Hi. Uh, Hiva. This is like a. Hiva. Like the U with dots. This is in Finnish the same like the U oh, with dots. Okay. So it's huva. Uh -huh. And it means good or happy, huva. Okay. Would would that word be different or sound different if there was just one A? Uh, a little bit different. Okay. Huva, would, it's it's a bit longer. We it, pronounce it longer. Is that a is that an actual word that exists? Yes. Oh really? What Both is the thing is it's uh, it means good. Mm -hmm. But the declination, they are, I made a video about that, that's the declinations in the Finnish language. Uh, it means, this is partitive. Partitive, it means it's an uh, undefined amount, an abstract amount. It's like many, like many and much, mm -hmm. a bit like much. And because you cannot say how good it is or how much good it is, mm -hmm. that's why huva, it's an abstract amount of good. Oh, I see. Wow. And that's why it's double okay. eh. And that's why paiva, it's the nicest paiva, the word day gets that too. Because it needs to match. That's Finnish grammar. Oh, okay. Guys, we're learning Finnish grammar here. <laughs> yeah. This whole thing means Happy Independence Day. This means happy or good. And it's a nice use. To here means independence. It's a, it's, it's a nice use. It's like it has also to do with self. It's like not like selfishness, but it's a means also self. And so it means that you're standing on your own now. Yeah, it's oh, a nice oh, use. And yeah, Paiva is day. The best. second part here with the white letters oh, is day. day. So Paiva. happy Independence Day. Yes, exactly. Okay, I get it. Uh, cool. Yes. Oh, colors blue and white, which exactly. are the Finnish colors. Like the Finnish flag. <laughs> yeah. today. Are there a lot of moose <laughs> or meese? How do you say it? Moose. We, we it call them cool? elks. In Finland, you would more say elks. The Finnish okay. word is hirvi, but we would more use the word elks. And here everybody says moose in, in the US yeah. and Canada. They are not so much in Helsinki, but in Lapland and where it's more like rural, you have moose. Mm -hmm. And you have to be careful that you don't uh, drive into them with a car when they're crossing the street. 
Because there are a lot of it's a statistics say a lot of people die from crashes with elks. Wow. Because these are so massive, and if you drive into oh, them, yeah, it might them. kill you. I've seen people, yeah. And then both dies. Right. Mostly the animal dies and the driver. And they always say that's that's a joke, like aim for the asshole. It <laughs> means when you try to drive <laughs> and you you cannot avoid the collision anymore, you should try to aim for the butt of the elk because that's more like a softer. Mm. Than the chest or the horns or get a the minimized head. damage. You know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But the poor elk still. But yeah, that's what they say. <laughs> aim for the asshole. Yeah. So guys, aim for the asshole. If you're driving in Finland, in Lapland. That's a good bit of advice in general. Good takeaway from Independence yeah. Day. <laughs> aim for the asshole. <laughs> so it's like it's actually a reality to say like, oh, you know what, what, what happened? What happened to Hans? You know, oh. <laughs> He, 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 got missed, he missed the asshole or something. <laughs> he got out. Wow, that, that's an actual thing. Like, <laughs> how did how did he die? Had your friend die? Or you, the, the, he died uh, because he didn't aim for the asshole. <laughs> oh no! He missed the, no, luckily missed the I don't know anyone in Finland. None of my friends or my friend's family died from elk accidents. But there's that's another good. thing that's really bad. When there's midsummer, what we celebrated together, sun solstice. It's always the third weekend of June, it's between 21st and 23rd, they always try to put it to a weekend. Some summer solstice, the longest day of the year, what we celebrated gloriously, watch it if you haven't seen it. And uh, there a lot of, oh no, oh no, the independence <laughs> broke away. <laughs> we don't have that. Oh, sorry guys. Back to being a colony. Oh. And then, that's the thing with Midsummer. when we celebrate Midsummer, uh, a lot of people die from drunk drowning. Oh, they party, they drunk drowning, oh. they are drunk and fall into the water oh, and drowning. they always advertise you have to Whoa. wear life vests because what you do is you go to a little cottage in the woods and then you have really fun there and people drink a lot and you make a bonfire and you go swimming and a lot of people drown when they go swimming or when they have boat trips on the lake and so everybody, even celebrities wow. were like advertising you wow. have to wear life vests for, for yeah, this I summer <laughs> so that you won't die Yeah, or, I mean, <laughs> yeah. is it is yeah, I'm just thinking, you know, um, booze or liquor in, in water. Yeah. Ponds and lakes probably isn't a real good combo. No, not really. <laughs> yeah. And I'm wondering, is that water cold over there yeah. at that time? It is. It's okay. You can go swimming. It's not that cold. Oh, okay. Some are like, I don't know what was crazier, like swimming it's, in polar it, ice cap water or, right. or drowning in it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we also go swimming in ice water in winter. Oh, you go to the sauna and you really oh. heat up, and then you make a hole in the oh. ice and go in there like for thirty seconds or something, or even less, and then you go back. But that feels good, and you That's go back to the sauna. You go to a it's hot place. It's supposed to be really good for you. Exactly, it is. But a friend told me what is really bed in some offices, they make beds how many people are going to die in midsummer from drunk drowning. They make like beds like <laughs> it's, lovely. And it's a lovely bed. Shall we eat some Finnish food? Yeah, you have. Listen to some Finnish music. You have Finnish food? Oh. Actually, the thing is, I don't know so much about the traditional food for Independence Day because my friends and I were always getting pizza. We went to the auditorium <laughs> to the Senate Square and had the singing and all of that. And there's this really amazing pizza place. Mm -hmm. And we love it. And we mostly had pizza or Nepalese food. But I can bring you a typical Finnish food now. I maybe I show it to the camera, guys, so you can already see it. It's blueberries because blueberries, blueberries are the Finns' favorite food at any time of the year. Please have some Finnish food. Blueberries are really Sweet. Finnish. Sweet. Here, hope it's not covering us. Those are good. Wow. These are really good. Yeah, that's only the only the best for Independence Day. Mm -hmm. Where'd you get these? Oh, these were from the 99 cent store, but they're organic, <laughs> they're organic. I knew it's it. Like, right. it more than 99 cent. Nothing. 99 cent store is Katie Nye's jam. We I love know. the 99 oh. cent store. Oh, you oh, go. <laughs> Me too. You go shopping Oops. there? Please. I think I don't do that anymore. <laughs> you, I love it. Mm -hmm. Do you, you both go there? Oh, the same we made time? a video about it. Oh, no We bought our Halloween outfits from there. <laughs> awesome. Really good stuff. They sell watermelons there sometimes. Ah. I wonder if mm, I That's yes. awesome. Whoa, for a whole just 99 cents. Yeah, and for um, the film shoot, I bought some from the 99 cent store. Okay. But we don't need them only as props in the background. Mm -hmm, yeah. Did you smash them when you got them? No, we just had them in the background mm -hmm. so that they would look cool. Look what we have here. Time for the first party game. And I'm going to explain the game, guys. Um, we're playing a game uh, that's called uh, Never Have I Ever. No, that's oh, a joke. Yeah. No, that's not typical Finnish. <laughs> We're gonna play a really Finnish game. It's called Make Your Own Finnish Flag. 
and we can uh, we can we will listen to the Finnish national anthem while we're playing that. Okay, and now you can make your own flags. Wait, we can also mix it up. And since n so many guests didn't show up, we can make a lot of flags. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, we can. And it's not that easy. I tried earlier. Uh, and now we can feel really Finnish and happy about the Finnish mm -hmm. independence day. Mm -hmm. Oh, now I feel really Finnish. And it's not that easy, right? You have to be really like... Uh, you know that patience is one of the Finnish national virtues. <laughs> it's called Sisu. <laughs> it's perseverance and patience. Sisu, yeah, it's S I S U, Sisu. Oh. Oh. So much fun! Thank you for celebrating with me. Oh, yeah. That's what yeah. they're singing at Senatin Tori, at the Senate Square. It's the first thing they sing. All the people get together and sing that? Yes. Wow. And sometimes they have candles, and the first is torchlight procession, and everybody follows them. And then they all gather in the square, and then, but they don't make their own flags, they have really big flags. Mm -hmm. This is just something, a fusion of Finnish and American customs. Mm -hmm. And I thought it's a cute party game. And I also thought they would come on the stick already. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I have just a super general question. Yes? Do you have four seasons? Yes, we have. We do, but they are more extreme. So the summer is hot and bright, and the winter is dark and cold. So it starts like spring starts in May. The official beginning, like of spring, is in May. It's first of May. It's called Vapu. We're celebrating. Has to do with Valparaiso. We're celebrating and picnicking outside. And it doesn't matter if there's still snow. We're still gonna picnic. But that's what we do on first of May. And then it's officially spring. And then it gets brighter, mostly like April, end of April it starts to get bright again and the days are longer than the nights. And in, I would say, October, September, October, it starts to get really dark. And now, right now, is the darkest time of the year. November, December is the darkest time. It, but is it dark 24 hours a day? In Lapland, in the northern regions, yes it is. Whoa. We have like 30 days of night. Oh, are we Whoa. already done? Yes, so we're quick. Yes! Yeah, guys. <laughs> We're so oh, good, guys. That's more flex. Oh, we can listen also to Sibelius. That's another typical finish. It's gorgeous, but it, lo it looks cold. Yeah. <laughs> 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 You're honoring Finland here. <laughs> oh, I missed the human. You were perfect on time. So if you live in the south, Helsinki, Helsinki is in the south. If you're in the south, you still have day and night, but right now you would have like maximum two hours of daylight. And we call it Fifty Shades of Grey because it's more a really dark grey sky. And then in February it starts that the sky is blue again. And then you have maybe three hours, four hours of daylight. In summer you have like two hours of night and the sky gets just a little bit dark blue and then the sun comes up again. So it's pretty much light in the summer? Yes, it's mostly, most of the time it's light. Oh, and a friend told me from France, a friend moved from France to Finland and then his parents visited him in June when it's the brightest and his mom couldn't sleep and she didn't have anything to put over her eyes and then she took a slip and put it over her eyes mm -hmm. like a pantyhose like oh yeah wow. yeah it was a good idea and Helsinki is the brightest because it's the most southern city yeah. yeah I would actually I would love to see what it's like to have um sunlight for like 22 hours I'm it's amazing curious. you should go to Finland in June it's beautiful and everybody walks outside, oh. and you can have a, a picnic at two I, in the morning. I will be in. I will be in Germany this June, yes. actually. Yeah. You should go over to Helsinki. I'm sure. I'll, I'll look at it. That was That's really awesome. awesome. Let me do that. Of what kind of music do you think of when you hear Finland? Death metal. Yes. Now, now I do. Before, I thought it was like polka music, but I was going to say yodeling. Oh, yodeling! I was, oh, yodeling. Uh, yeah. I was completely off. Yeah. yeah. Yodeling is Switzerland. <laughs> right. We're very far away from yeah. that. They, but, oh my God, that's right. <laughs> yes, that's okay. metal and heavy metal. Okay. But metal. But we have we have amazing metal bands from Finland. But we have also a lot of artists who perform in Finnish and who are only performing in in Finland. 
or maybe Sweden, but they perform in Finnish. And we have also amazing hip hop groups from Finland, pop and hip hop, mm -hmm. what most people don't know. So what would you like to listen to? Do you have any wish, genre? Yeah, Juliana and I listened to a lot of stuff earlier. I love the sound, this is such a good... And the videos of the cool. We did, so... Yeah, what was your favorite? Um... Mm, I like the little blonde girl, um, Pooh. Yes. Oh yeah, her name is Anna Pooh. Anna Pooh. But we have to explain that it is her last name is spelled P U U, and it means wood or, or tree. tree. Exactly. It oh. has nothing to do with anything that happens in the bathroom. Oh, Pooh. Whatever. Yes. I'm gonna think about Pooh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, then we're going to Anna Poo. She's also one of my favorite artists because I learned Finnish with her music. First Finnish artist I ever listened to. <coughs> like Finnish performing Finnish artist. Yeah, please no. Oh no, that sounded like a fart, but it mm -hmm. wasn't. That's what I love. <laughs> it was a trumpet. Oops. Yeah. Beautiful. Maybe the people can see it. And this is called melancholic joy. It means that uh, she's expected to behave in a certain way and she's not doing it. So you're so special but you're supposed to be normal. Mm -hmm. Or you're so brave but you're supposed to be careful. And she's just not doing what she's supposed to do. And that's beautiful. We have also really crazy pop songs. You, you have to see it for yourself. And this artist is called Anti Twisco. He is a pop artist and he does really crazy fun stuff. And now we're going to listen to Peto on Irti, which means the beast is loose. And it is really... He loose. was funny in it. Yes. <laughs> this is an amazing video, I love it. And the message in the song is, uh, when I flip out, the beast is loose. Yeah. <laughs> People to see that. They need to see it. He's, he's, he's funny. You see him dancing in the bathroom. But you need to see him dancing in the bathroom. Oh. I love this video. It's just completely crazy. It's cool. Yeah, it's this, right? Uh, that's this cool. Is I want to be that dude. <laughs> I know. That's probably look at the I think that's the funniest part. <laughs> and he always says, I'm coming to party, I'm coming here to party. And if you're in my way, I'm gonna flip out. And when I flip out, the beast is loose. And he says, like, uh, the tables are filling, the world is opening up, and the uh, fears or like the restrictions go away. And I'm gonna do what I'm. Um, I'm gonna do what I want, I will try if I feel like it. And that's what they play in the dance club late at night. This is <laughs> great, right? And that's not what people think when they think about Finland, they think about dark stuff and melancholic and yeah. metal. And metal is great, I love metal, but this is nice too sometimes. And the, the tablets are always speculating about his sexuality. <laughs> about his orientation, really? if he's gay or wait, bisexual. Wait, who is who speculating? The tabloids. Like the, yes, <laughs> the yellow press. And that's, that's why so they have all these funny things in there, like eating a banana when he's when uh, two girls are making oh, out. Yeah, this is an awesome, amazing thing, dude. yes. Oh, and now maybe some hip hop, some Finnish hip hop. So we have a video that was shot in LA, or we have a video with racing cars. Juliana and I watched both. Yeah, and I love them. I used them to learn Finnish. Which one would you watch? Prefer? LA, the one in LA. Cool. This one is called. Uh, this is a beautiful Finnish title, Huominen on Huomena. It means attention is tomorrow, because the girl is always trying to get their attention, and they say, no, 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 attention is tomorrow. Attention is tomorrow. Yeah, that's basically, or like, you will get attention tomorrow, but the, the oh. original title literally would be attention is tomorrow. And this is also a very famous Finnish pop singer who plays the girl. 
And this band is called Hebe Gay, JVG. They are amazing, also. I love oh, them. This is Zelle. Yes, this is Santa Monica, I think. Malibu? I think Santa Monica Beach. Those glasses, dude. So cool. I know. Oh, we have to show the glasses. Can you see the glasses, guys? I love those guys and I learned also Finnish with their music. And this is also a very famous Finnish singer. Yeah. Guys, this is Anna Abreu. I love her. Anna Abreu, my favorite. Oh. And she tries to convince them to party with them. And then they say, no, 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 attention, the party is tomorrow. This is also such a feel-good video. That's what you watch in Finnish winter. When you have two hours of daylight, you watch this. Okay. Makes it feel better immediately. She's amazing and she sounds every time different. Because Anna Abreu, she also has English songs, a lot of English songs and English videos. And she sounds completely different in her different songs. I have to show that to you later. She's amazing. She has an amazing voice range. <laughs> and she says, yeah, girls like attention. Girls like to get attention. And we know where we are and we know who we are. And then they say no attention is tomorrow. And in Finland also because we only have 5.4 people in Finland. 5. Point, oh sorry, 5.4 million people in Finland. All the artists they do collaborations. Everyone works with everyone. And that's amazing to watch. Oh, that's cool. Especially these two work a lot with other artists. Also the guy that we just watched, Auntie Drusku, made a song with one of these guys here with him. And that's also an amazing song. That dude is cool. Yeah, shall we watch the other song that they made together? Auntie Twisco, the hotel guy that made a song with the... Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's called uh, Kano Tan. And they wanted to create kind of a Finnish Macarena. This is so cool. <laughs> yes, you have to see that, maybe guys. You need to see it dancing, sorry. I hope it's... That suit's the end awful, I love it. Yeah, <laughs> I know, it's so, it's awful. It's so it's bad, it's so, it's okay. so cool. It's so bad and great at the same time, right? <laughs> Look at that, thank you. Yeah, he has amazing music videos, I love that one. Yeah, it's amazing. No matter if you like the music or not, or the music style, you know, I'm into metal, but I love these music videos. And they are very talented people here. And now he said to her, you have to uh, raise your leg. Like the neighbor's girl, and then she gets angry. <laughs> Illegal. <laughs> <This is it. laughs> well, you should get that as a wow. lawyer. You need to have that as a lawyer. That's, yeah. And if you open it, it's legal, and if you open it, you buy it, it's illegal. <laughs> yeah. And he says, I'm turning, like, I'm spinning like J-Lo. <laughs> You know, there was this guy again, like the one of the hip hop duo guys. Here. The JBZ guy? Yes, JBZ. Yeah. His name is Villa, and he was there. Yes, here. Mm. He loves also to work with a lot of other different people, and that's also amazing, the, like the results of that. Now they explain that you put your hands up in the air and you do this and this. And then they say also shake your butt. At this point. Check your what? Check your butt. Check your butt. Pepu means butt in Finnish. Pepu. That's what she says also. Like one of the girls just says Pepu very soon. Yeah, that was the move. That's my butt. That's the line of the song. That's my butt when they go with make the butt dance move. Yeah, and they said they wanted to create this uh, La Macarena. Like for Finland, a Finnish oh, version of La oh, Macarena. Oh, the Macarena song. Yes. But oh, there's a banana, there's a banana. Exactly, he has always these banana jokes. <laughs> and I love that. So he, he had also he a press picture where he's surrounded by bananas. That was one of his official Wait artist pictures. Was he sitting on a pile of bananas with his mouth open wide? And No, it was more like oh, he was... I, uh, I saw that photo somewhere on Hollywood Boulevard as a sign. Oh, I don't wow. know anything about it. I saw a guy like sitting like, like, like <laughs> that, like this, and he's like, he's like, and he's oh, seeing wow. a whole pile of bananas, and it was the coolest thing I've ever seen. This is such an amazing and, idea. And I didn't, I didn't know anything about it. I didn't even know what it was advertising. It I was have the, to find that and take a picture. I want to see yeah, it too. Yeah, it was the one time I was like, that advertisement is cool. I <laughs> will do that. 
and then I don't even know what it is, <laughs> which is which I think makes it even cooler. I don't of course, because it's so it's cool. You so much. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> we have a Finnish. Do you want Finnish Justin Bieber? Sure. But it's yeah, mean to call him that. His name is Robin, <laughs> and he is so much cooler than Justin Bieber. But he was also signed with Universal. Is still, I think. And I feel that Universal always tried to copy Justin Bieber because we had also. A German Justin Bieber, mm -hmm. but they always oh. try to style them the same way to look the same way. Oh, interesting! And the funny thing is <laughs> that your Justin Bieber is from Canada, and the Finnish Justin Bieber is kind of from Sweden, like from Swedish family, <laughs> and the German Justin Bieber was from Switzerland. Wow! But it's all mean to call. I don't mean mm -hmm. it mean nothing against Justin Bieber, but. Uh, Robin is just cooler than Justin Bieber, and he does a lot of charity stuff. That's probably, if you want to get a true Justin Bieber uh, copy, he probably has to be from like a slightly different country. Right, like yes. Like Canada to America, then Switzerland to Germany, and that's what you gotta do. Exactly. That's, that's how you get the pure Justin Bieber. For some reason, YouTube is censoring Robin. I don't know why they're doing that, but... Oh, it's happening. <laughs> It's okay. happening. It's happening, yes. V2. V2. But we found a, a version of a song, a different song he made with another artist, and they filmed it in LA. It's called uh, How Eskimos Kiss, but in Finnish. Meet in Eskimo Zude. Something is wrong with this. I think they turned up the speed or something. Naya, no, yeah, we can anyway watch it. And I can show you that he looks a lot like Justin Bieber. But I think they sped it up. They somehow fucked it up. But this was filmed in LA too. This is all LA downtown. Oh, yeah. But I don't know what they did, but they will for sure not copyright me from playing that because nobody can uh, understand it. Maybe I can find a still frame. Well, no, that's a bad still frame. Bad quality, guys. But this looks a bit like the label tried to style him like Justin Bieber. If you can even see that from here. Maybe I can zoom in the post. And I want to show you that it's made in LA when they are dancing on the bridge and stuff. Oh, is it backwards? Look, there you can see that this artist, who's named Sunny, she's great too, great voice. They were filming it in LA. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's like that's like downtown LA. Yes, yeah, that's downtown, the bridge oh, yeah. in downtown. Look, oh, oh yeah, yeah. probably. Yes. Oh, I've yes, guys, that's the bridge. Do you recognize that, LA guys? I've probably driven through that on that freeway probably like for really like four or five years straight in my life. God. Cool. <laughs> yeah, that's what they filmed. It. Finns yeah. like to film videos in LA because he has sun. You know, they yeah. want some sun. And that was killer drone shot. Whoa. You're yeah, great, that's right? Crazy. Yes, that. he's one of the best drone pilots we have in LA. That's why he was <laughs> my drone pilot. <laughs> no, yeah, they have amazing drone Ooh, shots. Maybe we should only watch one. it for the drone shots. Yeah. Maybe we turn off the sound and just watch the drone shots. <laughs> just, uh, just and the drone shots are amazing in this one. Look, yes. Whoa, that's really cool. That's a yeah. good pan, reverse pan out. Yes. Damn, dude. I want to show you this other artist. Sure. She's the one with the blue hair, but now Sun her blue oh, hair is not okay. blue anymore. She's sunny. the one who was just sunny. Yes, she was just on the bridge. Blue hair is cool. Yes. I, I like that in girls. That's pretty cool. She's amazing. I love this song. This is a sad ballad that gives me sometimes goosebumps. We have to share that. Maybe you get goosebumps too. But maybe only if you understand the lyrics. We can test that. We can now check if uh, Juliana and Eric will get goosebumps from Sunny's song too. This is called Me Eola in Ame and it means uh, we are not us anymore. It's about a couple who is not together anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sad breakup song, but beautiful. Yes. She so said, I look at you, you look the same. But in your voice is something new. And it is so nice, I want you to see it, guys. She says it's so nice to talk to you after a long time. Even so, if I don't know you anymore. Because we are not us anymore. Mm. And this is so sad, she says we well, now we're buying Christmas gifts for someone else. Oh. Yeah. yeah. And I go home but I can't get in anymore. Wow, that's a, it's beautiful. That's very emotional, yeah. Yes. She's also a good actress. She was in some movies too. Oh, but let me stop that before I start crying. <laughs> Maybe because Juliana has to go. Oh, this is yeah, beautiful. Get... Juliana has to go home, so maybe we can do a little torchlight procession sure. outside. I bought a lot of torches from the 99 cent store. Oops. Oh. 
but they were more than 99 cents. I bought actually six torches because I thought we're going to be six people at least, but we're not. But now we have more torches for everyone. That's what it <laughs> means. One torch per hand. Exactly. And maybe we can really cool. Yes. But I hope they work because they are solar torches. Otherwise, we have to put candles on them, maybe. Maybe I can tape candles on them and then we can walk with those. Yeah, you have to take them, I think, switch them on, but I don't know uh, if they would have had... Oh! I think this is... Uh, there yeah. was a light, but I don't know. It's. Uh, it was just on for a second. Oh, look. When I turn it on... Oh, that on, one's on. Yeah, but when I turn it on, uh, it only turns on when you keep it turned down. <sighs> Maybe we have to try to carry our torches. Carry them like this? Yeah, this also went it, out again. Maybe I have to return them because they don't work. But we can just, I can tape those on there, and then we have torches. I think we should do that. I will tape them and then uh, we can have our torch procession. We got the torches working. We just had to turn off the light. Oh, that looks amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yay! When they face light, they turn off to charge, yes. I think. These are really cool. Yes, and look, yes. but the one is fucked, the one is broken, but I can just <laughs> carry instead of that. Oh look, look, the torches are matching the colors of your socks, that looks amazing. <laughs> These are so cool. We found a church. It's not the Tuomio Kirko. It would be a bit far to process all the way to Finland, but our torchlight procession was a big success and we ended at a church. And I think we're gonna stand at this church now and uh, listen to the Finnish national anthem on my phone. We just did it again because this is a restaurant that looks like a church, but the light is so much better here. And we wanna do something special for you. Happy Independence Day! Viva it's a nice Spiva! And now, since we don't have a choir and a big crowd of people like in Finland on the Senatentori, we're gonna stand here in awe in front of this restaurant, or maybe even in the dark in front of the church, and we're gonna play the Finnish national anthem and some Sibelius, of course. Happy Independence Day! And never stop. Dreamin'!